for his thoughts on today's ruling. We're catching up with Steve Price. Pricey, you'd be in favour of shutting down a big mining development to save some reptiles, wouldn't you? Yes, of course I would carry a $16 billion project that's going to employ 2,500 people to construct it and we're going to stop it for the, let's be very clear, the yakka skink and the ornamental snake. We must be an absolute laughing stock. What a joke that is. The truth is, though, Steve, we're not stopping it for them. We're stopping it because the court has ruled that the minister did not follow the law as he was required to do when making the decision. So all this is really about is upholding the law. Well, it's a technical issue in the court and a technical issue in the approval. There are a lot of people who are against this mine because of its size and they'll seize on anything to have it prevented. But the process has gone through. The Queensland Labor government wants it to happen. Canberra wants it to happen. The Indians want the coal. It's a win-win for Australia. I don't know why we're tying ourselves up in knots about skinks and snakes. I mean, why do you want to kill the skinks and the snakes so much, Pricey? I mean, look, we've got a picture of it here. This is a little Stevie Aww. skink. Uh, look, at, look at this little face. Pete, the only good skink's a dead skink, as far as I'm oh, concerned. Who would want to save that thing? I mean, the yakka skink. Has anyone actually ever seen one? I mean, next we're going to have hairy wombats and tree frogs that get in the way. I mean, please, give me a break. My, my kids' basketball team is the yakka skinks. Uh, they, they go all right, too. <laughs> I bet they do. <laughs> Steve, the outcome of this is still a bit unclear. So the environmental groups are saying it's dead, and the company itself is saying they're going to get the green light as soon as they sort out their finances. So what's actually going to happen? Well, Todd, as I understand it, the government today has said that this is just a technical hiccup and that it'll take them about six weeks to correct that problem and the mine will get up and running. And that's good news for everyone. And as I said, 2,500 jobs in construction, 4,000 when it's up and running. And remember that this coal is going to be exported straight to India and the Indians believe that this will help their middle class uh, who need the electricity and that's going to benefit Australia. The, the, if the Indian economy is singing along beautifully, then that's going to be great for Australia. Look now, Steve, uh, Stevie Skink's wearing a bow tie. I mean, that's adorable, <laughs> don't you think? As I said, the only good skink is a dead skink or one that's not anywhere near me. Why don't we just scoop them all up and take them for a holiday down near the coast or something? I don't know. But it's ridiculous, Peter. What about Lenny's ornamental snake? <laughs> Has anyone seen Lenny's ornamental snake? No, I think Lenny's ornamental snake is wearing a bow tie. Have we got that vision? No? no we got that vision. Sorry, sorry. Keep my, my that man, skink Steve. away from me. <laughs> and the snake. All right, Steve, have a good night. Cheers. All right, we're going to go to a break. We'll see you soon.